The E-Pace isn't just Jaguar's first reduced SUV, it's additionally the primary Jaguar to be produced abroad. It's something of a shake-up. At that point, however one that was unsurprising given the potential crown jewels of this specific portion. Furthermore, just to be clear, the gauge is that this auto will beat the F-Pace which itself now represents the greater part the Marx deals. Be that as it may, business as usual has not been altogether ignored. There's been the torrent of negative exposure, fears over remaining esteems and, in a few sections, related stopping extra charges, however it's as yet expected that three diesel e-paces will move off the creation line for each petroleum. Astonishing? Maybe not. On the grounds that easy diesel clout still suits this assortment of auto extremely well, put the two capable oil models, the P250 and P300, to the other side and there's a decision of the D150, D180 or the D240 diesels. Puma says most purchasers will pick the D180. And given its valuable efficiency of 50.4 miles per gallon and swell of 317 pounds feet, it surely strikes a decent adjust. One thing we detracted from our first drive of that auto was Jaguar appears to have enhanced the refinement of its Ingenium motor. As well, the individuals who might incline toward more prominent execution should seriously think about the D240 tried here. To support its is the best torque yield of any A-Pace, with 368 pounds feet from just 1,500 revolutions per minute, which is sufficient to drop the D180's 0 to 62 miles per hour time by very nearly 2 seconds to 7.4. It would be speedier still, was it not for the way that this E-Pace is heavier than an equal engine def pace. You'll additionally endure a 10% shot in fuel proficiency contrasted with the D180. However the way in which the more intense model can thunder, frequently boisterously, it must be said, between two focuses will make that an advantageous exchange for a few. There's a whole other world to it than control. However, the four-wheel drive equipment in the D240 is diverse to what you'll discover in lesser models. They utilize a Holdex framework obtained from the Evoque. Here you get the same GKN assembled framework found in a Ford Focus RS, with grip packs either side of the back differential. Their activity is to control the stream of energy to each wheel such that the E-Pace is saturated with the back-driven feel that a SUV based on a front-wheel drive stage normally needs. In typical driving there is no discernible contrast. Leave corners with some dedication, be that as it may, and there is a swoon yet fulfilling impression of drive from the back outside corner. In fact, it's somewhat counterfeit and just 50% of the accessible torque can head rearwards. It implies that while the D240 feels beyond any doubt footed and energetic, it never truly engages, not to the principles set by Jaguar itself. The upscale inside is a solid point, and looks especially great when upholstered in two-tone cowhide. We likewise alternative the advanced dials, for £510. Besides, while the outside outline may appear somewhat limit alongside the F-Pace, it additionally has more about it than most opponents, and looks magnificent in Marisco Grey, £615. Don't tune into the individuals who call it metallic groundwork. Yet, these things are crucial to any E-Pace you can purchase.